would like to explain my photography. Maybe I can't explain it because it's so hard to understand. I'm not a technical person. I just know how to take a picture. And evidently I'm doing something right because people like what I do. It's just my passion, my vision. I photographed many things, professional hockey, I did some music, some people. I photographed Seamus and Patrick, my puppies. But nothing fascinates me more than nature photography. And I don't classify, classify myself as a birder. Maybe I am a birder. That's what they tell me. But I just love nature photography. I'm going to explain the history of my professional hockey photography. It all started in 2004. I started photographing the American Hockey League, the AHL, Hershey Bears, Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, Philadelphia Phantoms, Bridgeport Sound Tigers, Albany River Rats, Hartford Wolfpack. So I was all over the American Hockey League taking pictures. And then, then we were told we're not going to shoot N NHL. And then the NHL started uh, allowing us photography. My first NHL game was down in Washington, D.C., Washington Capitals. My photo assignment was on the glass, and I had Mr. Wheel of Fortune, Pat St. Jack, sitting next to me. I really couldn't bother him, but I did, because I just wanted to hear the voice. So I said, Pat, I just want to talk to you. I want to hear the voice. So we spoke a little bit. After the third period, when I had to go upstairs, shook his hand. I said, it was nice meeting you, Pat. He goes, it was nice meeting you, Tony. So that was the highlight of my trip to Washington and interviewing a player in the Washington Capitol locker room after the game, which was pretty cool. And then uh, the Islanders started letting us come in. And I did quite a few Islander games. And I didn't mind the drive because I'm more Islander fan than New Jersey Devil fan, Ranger fan, but I like the New York Islanders. And then I was told I'll never shoot New Jersey Devil, but we had a writer, Michelle, who was real good with the team, and I think that's how it happened. So now the Devils are allowing us in, so I shot a few Devil games. I'm not going to get a, a glass seat all the time, but when I do, it's just phenomenal. The one year the Devils were in the playoffs, and I was allowed, I had a game in the Philadelphia series, which I, which I was upstairs, and then I had a game with the New York Rangers, and the NHL gave me a spot on the glass for three periods. It was, I didn't have a hole, but I, I had to shoot through the plexiglass, but it was just phenomenal. So that's my professional This year hockey. I haven't done anything because my, uh, my schedule doesn't allow much. You know, I miss it and I don't miss it. I like this nature stuff a lot more. I just, you know, I, I, I love the game of hockey and I can't skate. So the next best thing to hockey is photograph. So I'm just sharing with you my Let's call it the history of photography, according to me. Okay, thank you. And enjoy the ride. And I'll, I'll get all, I'll stop talking so you can enjoy the ride. Okay, thank you. And I can't thank enough to Jeeves for getting me this birthday gift to GoPro. She created a monster. Thank you, Jean. I'm not a public speaker, but I'm learning. So. Thanks, thanks so much for my birthday gift, Gene. Thanks for creating the monster, the beast. Okay, bye. Hello, everyone. As I remember things, I'll just, I'm going to turn the mic on and talk to you. Well, I just want to share, share with you another piece of my musical history. A few years back, I was photographing a girl up from Nashville, Lainey Nash. She was performing at Middletown Arts Center in New Jersey. Singers, songwriters in the round. 
and there was another performer named April Kelly. You know, I, I took some photos of her. She's a nice looking lady. I didn't know the history of April Kelly, but I'm going to share it with you now. I posted a picture of her and her puppy on my Puppy World page. And my brother, who's a DJ, contacted me because he wanted to know how I knew April Kelly. I didn't know her from Adam. I had no clue. Well, he let me know about April Kelly, that she was huge in the 90s. She was a freestyle dance artist with a hit record. You can look her up. April Magical. She was huge. And I didn't know this. I don't know how things work out, but I was in the right place at the right time. You never know who you're gonna meet, who you cross. I, I can't explain it. Well, over the years, I've built a relationship with April. I've done some pictures for her while she was performing. I also photographed her wedding band, which banned the gold out of New Jersey excellent now I recommend if you're getting married please look into it they're so good and it's such a treat being part of this because it's watching her perform she's amazing and she's a nice person like I said I, I don't know how things work how things happen but I have a wonderful privilege so thank you April thank thank you for allowing me into your world you're amazing. Hip hop. We had a show at SOB's in Manhattan. Part of our show with Ram and Apollo. Like I said, I was trying to get him a record deal. I was part of the team. I was doing photography, photography for this, but nothing ever amounted to anything. But one of the performers at this show was a fella named David Homick. The history of David Homick. David's big time. He was on All My Children. He's an actor out of New York City. Uh, he was part of the Pepsi campaign last year or two years ago. Pepsi commercials. And he was part of, part of The Bachelorette. So I'm not best friends with David, but we're cool. He was shooting a music video in Elizabeth, New Jersey at Club Malibu a few years ago. Which never amounted to anything. But I was part of it because I contacted him. I said, why am, why am I not invited to the party? So he, he, he said I could come. I did some pictures for him. I was even included in the video. That was a treat in itself because I got to meet all these beautiful people. I, got to, I, get, to see the, I get to see the other world. Well, like I said, I don't know how things work out. But I'm part of it. And I have a nice privilege. And I'm I'm talking because I like to talk now. Thank you, Gene, for the GoPro. Thank you for my birthday gift. Every five, every 50 years, I should get a GoPro. Okay, thank you. GoPro, I'm the new hero. Have a nice day. GoPro with Anthony S. Fiori. And I'm going to be quiet now. Bye-bye. And I can't, figure, I can't forget funny man Mike Marino. Mike Marino, big time comic. My good friend. I got to meet Mike Marino through Nick Clements. We did a comedy show at the Paramount Theater in Asbury Park. Forget the year because the years are just, they keep coming. Well, I got to meet Mike Marino and we're cool now. And he's a funny man. Mike Marino for president, 2017. I'm part of the team, Mike. Vote Mike Marino. March 8th, 2016. We're heading home. We got to see the owl. Have a nice day. GoPro with Anthony S. Fiore Jr. I'm the hero.